Two great hitters lead their teams to battle. Next on MLB Network, Tim Lincecum, a Washington-born right-hander, gets the starting assignment. Harold, what do you got? Well, Matt, he's got five pitches, and I mean, they're all good. He throws them for strikes. He dominates. He mixes speeds up. I asked him one day, what's your best pitch? And he told me, all five. Hit high in the air down the right field line. Chin is under it. There we go. He's got it one away. Second. Here's Billy Hamilton, Hamilton standing six. in. Billy Hamilton. First pitch now from Lincecum. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Game time temperature tonight a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. One out, nobody on. A swing and a miss. He offered he it a ball way outside the strike, the strike okay. zone for out number two. Well, we all know he's going to get strikeouts when he's on the mound. It's kind of his thing. The key for the offense is to actually make a work for him. So that three pitch see you later isn't going to help very much. Joey Votto is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. He's not messing around this inning. He's attacking the zone. He's showing lots of confidence. He's 0-2 on this hitter after having two quick outs. Nice job. Again, he sends it out of play. Lincecum readies another 0-2. And here's a ball hit in the air. And this is caught as he had to go a long way to get there, but he pulls it in right in front of the stands to retire the side. So stepping in, Ken Griffey Jr. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Left fielder. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. The wind up and the 0 1. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. In there at the letters, one and two now. Well, that was unexpected. You're looking for the sinker down. He throws a fastball up. Now he's just changed the game on you. He's forcing you to look somewhere else. 
Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. And the pitch. This is pulled into right. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. Well, Matt, if you ask me how to start a game, you want your pitcher to throw a 1 2 3, which he did the top half, and then your leadoff guy gets a single. That's a recipe for success. Now a snap move over to first, just keeping him close. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Billy Hamilton is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball is put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, oh so a double God. play is going to be tough. Even getting one out could be a challenge. The 1 0 delivery. Ground ball sent back up the middle. There's one. Back to Votto, but it's not in time as they settle for just the one. Batting third. Stepping up now, Carlos Correa. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A pitch out. The throw. Throw won't get him. Runner at first here, one man out. Runner going a second time. A pitch out. The throw. Throw won't get him. Now we'll snap one off over to the bag. Back in standing. Annoying, man. And another snap throw to the bag. Keeping particularly close tabs on him. Pitch the ball, maybe? Jesus. Freaking computer, man. Again, he's off for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Good steal of second there, and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. Here it comes on 3 and 0. Here's a pitch Great popped hit. up, but should be playable for Mezzarocco. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Harold? All the way. And the key here is going to be how do you score runs if you get any. You get a runner on, you're going to have to be aggressive. You hit a ball in the gap, and he's on first base. Send him home. Take those chances because they're not going to be very often. Miguel Cabrera is the batter now as he looks at a ball 1-0. One and no delivery. Now a swing and a fly ball. Shebler sprinting after it. And it's a foul ball. Well, he got a piece of that breaking ball right there. It's the second one he's seen in a row now, and he fouled that one off. Let's see if he comes back with a third three in a row. The one-one home to Cabrera. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Two balls and two strikes now. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Two out here and a runner at second. Ball three. Three and two now. You can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. 
Payoff pitch on its way. Back up the middle. Mozart makes a great play. The throw to first. Got him. That was exceptional. He got. Here's the shortstop, Zach Kozar. He'll start things off now against Tim Lincecum. Zach Kozar. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Griffey waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Okay, here's the defense for the home team brought to you by Majestic. I'm looking out there at Billy Hamilton. He's a very interesting story. This guy flew through the minor leagues as a shortstop. And I thought for sure the Reds were going to leave him there. And then they had a void in center, and they moved him to the outfield. And now you got a pretty versatile player. Eugenio Suarez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. In there at the knees, 0-2 now. Lifted down the line and right and back out of play. Count holds it 0-2. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Hold high in the air out to left field. Griffey moves over. Two gone. Batting six. The left fielder so striding in, Adam Duvall. Adam He'll work on Duvall. keeping this top of the second alive. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Oh my God. So and there's a man. sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Curveball locks him up, strike three, and that's the third out. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Into the box now, Andrew McCutcheon. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And now pitch on the way. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. This one's down to third. Suarez takes it in. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Reds. And I'm looking down there at Joey Votto. You know, Joey will surprise you. He'll make an unbelievable play because he's a gambler. He's not afraid to challenge on a bunt, and he's not afraid to turn and spin and throw a ball to second base without even looking that direction. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Line toward right center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. He got Cutting that one seven. pretty good. First, it just didn't play. have the right Anthony. launch angle to carry Rizzo. over the outfielder's head. Freaking Small hell, man. difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He'll try up, to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Just lucky to make contact on that yes, one sir. as it's chopped foul. Yo, when did Anthony sponsor Coos? Wind up and the 0-1. And that slider is almost in the dirt. Bottom of the second here with no score. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Last night. All right. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Oh, dude, this grind is Rizzo ridiculous. Rizzo will for second. And he'll coast into second here with Bro, a two-on double. Bro, my video last night got over. Coming to the plate now, two, Gary Sanchez. I think it was like 277 last night. And he can give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Pretty close. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. Trying to work that slider to the outer half, but it misses 1-0. One and zero pitch on the way, lifted out towards straightaway center field, and nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this.
And that brings up Scott Shebler. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Into the windup and the pitch. And a fastball just a bit high. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. And there's a pitch that Come just on. misses the inside corner. What good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. Oh. A pitcher's pitch. Here's Lincecum now on 2 and 1. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped say, uh, I'll play video games when you're tired. The 2 2 from Lincecum. Swing and a miss as he Definitely starts the third the same way. Right end of the second with a punch out one away. Man. The catcher Devin Mezzarocco stands in. Devin Mezzarocco. Good fastball there from Lincecum as he's really popping the glove now. It's strike one. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound there right now. There we go. Retired seven straight and mechanically he looks really consistent and fluid to me. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there. You're down 0-2. You're in protect mode. You want to chase that ball. Nice layoff. Okay. Here's another one-two. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. Nope. It'll remain Strike one and two. Strike out. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Boy, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in a one-two count. He finally took a ball right there. He feels oh more my confident. Oh, my God. Keep swinging. And another foul ball. Thank you. Holy crap, that's a good miss for the second out. Two up, two down on strikes in this inning. He looks really sharp out there, guys. In now, Brandon Finnegan. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. The wind up and Sorry the, for the pitch. To the pitcher, but. A little roller toward the hole. And the throw is not going right. to be in time. I don't know why he's even trying to tag him. Whatever. And here's Jose Peraza. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. A high fastball is in there. Third inning, no score to this point. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Here's another 0-2. And a neck-high fastball that time. I like the high fastball 0-2. Now I know he's sitting 1-2, and 2, but you showed him a great fastball. Now he's got to honor that, and you can set him up with anything. I like the pitch. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire. Digging in, Tim Lincecum. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Tim. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. The pitch. That's by him for strike one. Well, he doubled up on that slider, so that tells me he's really feeling it at this point in the game. Good chance we'll see a heavy dose of that slider as this start continues. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. One and two, here it comes. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. 
He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. All even at two and two, here it is. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Now, I know he struck out there, but for a pitcher, that's a pretty solid oh, at bat. Anytime you can make an opposing pitcher out there work and throw Kenya. quite a few more extra pitches, that's a quality A-B in my book. Here's a first pitch chop foul right at home plate, and that's the first strike. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Oh and this is fouled back and out of play. Well, now it's a 1 2 count. He's throwing the same pitch three times in a row. He got ahead with it. Now let's see if he puts him away with it. The 1 and 2 pitch. Swing and he pops him up really over toward foul there. territory. And no one will get this one. Yeah, I know. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hamilton is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Fucking Shrani Mac, man. I mean, I don't care. Batter, mm. Digging in for Reason. the second at bat. Billy Hamilton. So. 0 for 1 here in the early going. I don't even know why I'm streaming. Like, I'm just, now I'm a not sinker really runs in on him a bit as he's got to step good. out of the way there. With two really outs, they're not I'm playing tired. him to fun here, and he didn't show it there, but I wouldn't be surprised if he wasn't at least thinking about it. He handles the bat pretty well, and he can definitely run. That one's going to find the seats. One of one. So, I know he is. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And there's one he'd like JK, to have over again. In, missed man. high with the slider. Always appreciate it. Hit on the ground to third. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. Nothing across here this half. Probably going to end the stream. Like the a minute or two. First then pitch now from Lindsay. I really don't even want to finish this one's game. Looped out toward Hamilton. right center field. Coming in is Hamilton. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. And there's one away now. Sliding in once again, Joey Votto comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A bit high there. A ball and no strikes. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game happy with that, Dan. Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to. He's actually to swing, and there are two away now. Adrian, you played me yesterday? Just enough with that pitch to get him going when did you play me? According to the umpire, sometimes it can be really tough for these big, and, strong and guys because play me? once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. Did you play me in MLB? Zach Cozart is at the oh, plate here as he quickly finds himself down a Come strike. On, it's 0-1. 1-1. One one. One and one. And in rank? runs a little too far sure. in. You beat me? Ball two. Probably Looked beat like me. he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his hand a little early, causing it to miss inside. I did not play well yesterday. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Yesterday was a And a good spot for that for pitch is it's chopped foul. And Lincecum can't find Come the on, target blue. on that one as he runs the count full now at 3 and 2. Eugenio Suarez would be next. Hit in the air to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that. Leading up the fourth inning. Second baseman. Carlos Correa. Ball one, no strikes. All right, guys, so I'm going to end the stream. I'm tired. I, we'll see if I perk up later, but 
as for right now. What's up, Kyle? I'm actually leaving, man. So, we'll see. We'll see how I feel later. It's only 7. We're just about 7, so. We'll see, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, come to the giveaway tomorrow. I'm trying for 3 p.m. my time. So, 4 p.m. Central. Got that. Just 4 p.m. Central. Make it easy for everybody. Yeah, guys. Thanks for coming in. Um, later. <laughs>